Hi everyone. Today I'm going to explain a question that you see a lot for people who just discovered OpenPilot and that's uh, what's the big difference? How different is this from the factory lane tracing assist, radar cruise control that you see in these cars that we're adapting OpenPilot to? So I'm going to try to show some of that today. So right now we're using the factory TSS2 lane tracing assist. I'm about to hop on the interstate. When we get on there, I'll kind of show how it works and we'll show how the uh, wheel nag is different and some of the uh, small changes and limitations to it. And we'll compare that to OpenPilot. Hopefully you guys will see why OpenPilot is such a unique experience and something above and beyond what the factory systems are capable of on these cars. Okay, now we're on the highway. One thing I don't like about the factory system is it doesn't have any beeps. It's sometimes very vague about when it's engaged and when it's not engaged. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit set here. And it shows me on the display that it sees the lane lines. Now it just went off into like a lead car follow situation. I'm just going to turn the speed up. So I guess it's lane tracing. Now it's changed to the solid blue bars, which I'll try to show you guys a picture of what this looks like so uh, you can see the differences. But now it, it is doing the lane tracing and it's already given me a wheel nag. So I've given it a little touch. We'll see how long before it gives me another wheel nag. But actually, I'm pretty sure coming up here, this is a corner that Open Pilot will take no problem. I have a feeling there's the other wheel nag. I have a feeling that this isn't going to take this corner. Yep, you can see it looked like it was just going to go straight. Uh, Open Pilot takes that no problem. So, and here it, it's lost the lane lines. Here it doesn't see either lane line. So I'm driving. There it sees the car in front of it and it's kind of driving. It's actually warning me about that it doesn't have a good track on the lane lines. It still doesn't, so I'm just having to take control through all this. Obviously, manually taking control right here. Let's see how it does now that we get on the freeway. It's engaged now. Um, and it, it's doing okay. So I'm only going to drive a little short section here. And you'll see that it does work, but there's the wheel nag. You just a slight touch and it goes away. And it will nag me again here pretty quickly. There it is again, but it is working. Um, so I'm going to get off the interstate. It works. This is its ideal situation where it works pretty well and I would say yep you can use it. Cruising on the interstate um, you do get the wheel nag pretty often but it's not bad and it if it has good lane lines it, it does pretty good and if it's mostly straight it does pretty good. But like here as soon as I you know take the exit it can't see and it can't see this car in front of me. See, it's not slowing down very well. Now it's slowing down. That's It's taking control of the braking here. And it'll actually brake a lot harder than Open Pilot will, and it's very jerky. So right now it's giving me like kind of this lead follow thing, but I'm having to steer. It's not steering at all. We're going to go ahead and take a left. And we'll go to, we'll slowly go to some smaller and smaller roads so you can see. So right now it is uh, stopping, but every time it comes to a complete stop with the factory system, it does a stop and hold and I either have to hit resume or I have to hit the accelerator. And it tells me here that it's waiting. Um, so it won't go until I hit the gas, which, you know, it's not going to do anything right now. So we're disengaging. And see, I hit the brake, it disengaged, but there's no audible sound. It just changes the display and says that radar is ready, and I can hit resume. And it's 
like it's not. It is seeing the lane lines, but it's low confidence, and now it's engaged. So let's see here if it switches. No, nope, still engaged. So it sees these lines. It just gives me a bunch of wheel nags really quickly. All right, so this car is slowing down in front of me. Let's see if I switch lanes. It accelerated really quickly there. Yeah, see it. Uh, it was very slow to react to that car pulling in front of me. I feel like Open Pilot does a lot better job there. So here, we've gotten on these side roads and I can set it. I have no steer assist, just the dynamic cruise control. You know, this is a road that Open Pilot will work fine on. And I'll even loop around and, and show you that. I'm going through a little bit over the speed limit. Here, let, let's just do a little bit of a loop. And this is some of the big differences that um, we're going to talk about. So even here, resume. I've got lane lines, kind of. It sees this one, doesn't see that one. OK, it's lane tracing. I also don't like, uh, it turned itself off. It does beep at you, I guess, when it turns itself off, but you don't know when it's actually engaged besides the visual cue. Like right now, it's not, it's not engaging at all. Um, so it didn't see any, any lane lines there that it could actually hold on to. So here, I resume, 35 miles an hour. Uh, it doesn't see anything here. It's not doing anything besides cruise control. Um, there is a lane line on this side, but it needs basically two very clear lines for it to do anything. So you're kind of, you know, you're not going to get much uh, with the stock system in situations like this. We'll turn here and we'll go around the block basically and I'll enable open pilot when I come back around and show you guys just how much of this open pilot can do. So again, when I hit the brakes, no, no real noise, nothing to indicate that it's disabled the system. So here, if I hit resume, and go up to like 45. It's on, but it hasn't seen the lane lines yet. Like I don't, it sees one. No, nope, now it lost it. It's not doing anything even here. It's flickering. It still hasn't engaged at all on this stretch. So, I mean, it. I feel like it should be turned on here. I don't know why it wouldn't. Um, so now, Let's switch to open pilot. All right, guys, so now we're on open pilot. Um, so let's turn it on and enable it. And so even though it doesn't see any lane lines, um, no issue. So let's see here. There are lane lines, but they're pretty faded. You can see Open Pilot is driving, has driver monitoring, so there's no wheel nag. It's just going. Is this the perfect place for it? No. Um, and you see when I disengage, um, it alerts me, so I know that it's disengaged. I know when it engages. Same here, I'm just going to hit resume. Here I only had like a small moment with the factory system where it was engaged, but Open Pilot clearly sees both lane lines, no problem. Doesn't care about little spots where the lane lines aren't perfect or they break. Um, it can drive fine. So we'll disengage again. Now we're gonna drive into the sun on this section of road that doesn't have good lane lines. But 
I resume, letting OpenPilot take over. You can see here it actually sees this line even though we're driving directly into the sun. It's not perfect, but this definitely isn't where it, uh, where it performs the best, but it can manage it. You know, this is something that the factory system won't even engage on. So this is where you really realize how much more powerful OpenPilot is versus factory system. Um, it's actually relying on the edge of the road here uh, as a reference. So you see, no problems, stay in our lane. Once again, the, the factory lane tracing couldn't pick up these lines. OpenPilot sees them very clearly. Obviously no problems here, as you would expect. So even roads like this where you kind of think the factory system should be performing, you know, I was constantly looking down, it's dropping lines, it's not sure. Um, so how do, you know, you can't rely on it where you can fully rely on OpenPilot on roads like this, no problem. And of course, OpenPilot stops pretty smoothly. Okay, so now I'm going to go down uh, a little stretch of two-lane road, and we'll see how the factory system can handle uh, just some easy kind of corners on a two-lane highway and see if it can do that. I uh, don't know what's going on there. Just kind of pulled itself off to the side of the road. It was actually active, so it's kind of uh, makes you uncomfortable when it does things like that. It's like every 13 seconds or so, uh, you get the wheel nag. So here, at lower speeds with decent lane lines, it does okay. Um, all right, we're coming up to a turn. So this is what I wanted to see, if it can actually even handle a corner. Um, all right, here we go, we're coming into the corner. It is turning. Look at that. So here at 40 miles an hour, the uh, factory system is working fine. I'm gonna grab the wheel there. Did not make me comfortable, especially with the car coming. Um, the speed limit's actually 35, so we did that a few miles an hour faster than uh, know what you would expect okay let's see if it can do this corner and no it can't so that's a corner that open pilot can do pretty easily um, and this just can't do it and here it lost, see it just beeped and let's go. So I'm actually gonna turn around and go back the other way and we'll do this on open pilot and see what difference it makes. Okay, so now we'll go up to 40 and we'll enable open pilot. So this is the corner uh, the stock system failed on going the other way. Let's see how OpenPilot does it this way. And see, it keeps me more centered in the lane. I feel a lot more confident about how it's driving and it has auto slowdown. So there's a car behind me. I'm even gonna speed up 
Uh, so I feel pretty comfortable with how Open Pilot performs. And I'll give it just, we'll, we'll go down a couple miles an hour here, but we'll actually take this corner faster than we took it going the other way. So we're about five miles an hour faster in the stock system. And Open Pilot's actually slowing down slightly here automatically. So we're taking it at the same speed, about 40 miles an hour, and now it's accelerating back up to, to 45. So there you go. You can see there's definitely a difference between the two. And as far as confidence level, I mean, you can see I, I'm comfortable keeping my hands off the wheel while using Open Pilot in situations like that, especially lower speeds uh, where you're not going to uh, encounter something where you have to intervene as quickly. So you can drive roads like this. You know, we're driving into the sun, no problems. I feel pretty comfortable letting it do the driving. And, um, I definitely don't feel that confidence with the factory system whatsoever. Hey, Logan from the future here. Um, it was getting kind of late and I honestly didn't get very good uh, stop and go footage to compare. So I'm going to end the video here since it's a little bit long. And if you guys like these type of comparison videos and want me to do more, uh, leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. And uh, if you guys want, I'll do a part two where I'll specifically do more stop and go or some more direct comparisons on similar roads or the same road. So uh, just let me know. And thanks for watching.